sunrise at the Felix Aguilar Observatory, one of Argentina's most important astronomy complexes. Soon this will be home to the largest radio telescope in South America in a joint Argentina-China project. Ricardo Podesta is the director of this observatory and he's worked closely with China since the first agreement in astronomy was signed in 1992. He says the installation of the radio telescope is a major project for this country and this region. With your eye you see a star and with the heart you hear it. A radio telescope penetrates deeper into the galaxy, star clouds and stars and can study the interior of the galaxy and what happens there. It can study black holes. There are an infinite number of studies one can do with a radio telescope. Weighing 1,000 tons and spanning 40 meters in diameter, the radio telescope measures tectonic movement down to the millimeter, and to do so requires the conditions found at this observatory. In order for work to begin here, a new road must be built to access the site, and there are delays, but all the same, there's hope that this project moves forward and the radio telescope will be operating by the year 2018. This is just one example of cooperation in science between these two countries. In the first of its kind in Latin America, the University of Shanghai and the Argentine Science and Technology Research Council have launched a mixed research center in Argentina to study globalization and society. It is a center that studies both countries at the same time. Understanding the social, cultural habits and beliefs are fundamental, if you want, as they say in China, win-win cooperation. To have cooperation that is harmonious and long-term, economic ties are not enough. As part of this program, there are already Chinese students in Argentina. The 27-year-old Song Zhongdong's interest in this country is not purely academic. I'm interested in the football. I like Messi. <laughs> And that led him to read about Argentina. My major is uh, world history, and my uh, research field is uh, uh, the economic history of Argentina. Uh, the period is from 1916 to 1930. It's a very important uh, period for Argentina's history. So I think the, it's, it's very valuable uh, for the uh, academic research. And it, it can provide some experience for China. From astronomy to the social sciences, Argentina and China are sharing infrastructure, technology and knowledge to better understand the world, its people and beyond. Joel Richard, CGTN, San Juan, Argentina.